26-year-old Deshaun Smith-Therese and Rachel Alexander are behind bars after a two-year-old girl died in their care. At 9.01pm on Wednesday the 12th of July, authorities were called to the Quality Inn Hotel at 3112 South 79th Avenue in Tulsa, Oklahoma on report of a toddler and cardiac arrest. When first responders arrived, they entered the hotel room and found an unresponsive two-year-old girl. They attempted life-saving measures on the little girl, but she was unable to be revived and was pronounced dead at the scene. An initial examination of the child showed likely signs of physical abuse. Investigators learned that Deshaun and Rachel travelled to Tulsa, Oklahoma from Little Rock, Arkansas, and took two girls with them, a two- and a three-year-old that belonged to a family member of one of the adults. They took the kids to Owasa, Oklahoma to panhandle around the Home Depot area and claimed to be out there from 4 to 8 p.m. Security footage shows the group arriving back at the hotel at around 8.25 p.m. When Deshaun removed the two-year-old from the car, she was limp. Investigators said that Deshaun attempted CPR, then took the girl inside their room and called 911. The district attorney's office agreed there was probable cause to arrest Rachel for abuse and neglect, and Deshaun for neglect and permitting abuse. They've both been held at the Tulsa County Jail. The three-year-old was taken into the Department of Human Services custody. The investigation into the matter continues. A 70-year-old man is behind bars after fatally shooting his 45-year-old wife. At 4.23am on Monday the 10th of July, authorities responded to a home in Temple, Georgia after Barry Black called 911 to report that he just shot his wife Brenda Bowman in the head. Responding deputies found Brenda's body in the couple's bedroom. Barry remained on scene and was arrested and charged with voluntary manslaughter and is held at the Carroll County Jail. The motive of the shooting is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. 29-year-old Larry Pickens is behind bars for fatally shooting 43-year-old orthopedic surgeon Dr. Benjamin Mork. The incident occurred at around 2pm on Tuesday the 11th of July inside an exam room of Campbell Clinic at 1458 West Poplar Avenue in Collierville, Tennessee. Police immediately responded to the clinic where a witness told them that a patient was being treated by Benjamin when he removed a pistol and fired three rounds, killing the doctor before running out of the clinic. Police found Benjamin deceased with a gunshot wound to his neck, another in his chest and a third in his upper abdomen. Police said that the paperwork in the exam room confirmed the suspect was Larry Pickens. Within minutes of the shooting, officers located Larry near the entrance of the clinic with a backpack carrying a pistol with an empty chamber and two empty magazines. He was arrested and charged with first degree murder and aggravated assault. His bond was set at $1.2 million. Police said that the disgruntled patient had been sending Benjamin threatening text messages a week prior to the shooting and waited hours for Benjamin before fatally shooting him. The investigation into the matter continues. Police are investigating after a 21-year-old woman was found fatally shot. At around 11.20am on Monday the 10th of July, authorities responded to a house on the 400 block of Union Grove Road in Camden, Alabama, on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived, they found a deceased woman inside the premises. The woman's been identified as Alexis Thomas of Pineapple, Alabama. Her body's been sent to forensics for an autopsy. Police said they're continuing to investigate the matter and are hoping to make an arrest soon. The motive of the attack is unclear, and no further details have been provided on the case. 